Hello YouTube, it's Silver Age Dave. I found a short box. We'll see if anyone shows up. Maybe no one cares. Uh, I know you guys care. I'm just kidding. There's lots of love in the community. So um, we'll see if anyone shows up. But basically I found a short box of, of mixed stuff. It's not alphabetized. A lot of it needs bagged and boarded. And um, frankly... Um, hey, are there people? Holy moly, there's people. Matterhog, and I, I think I saw Gorilla Grodd. I gotta get this pulled up so I can, uh, see what's going on. Hey, thanks for joining me, guys. James Watson, yeah, hey, you know, an unscheduled. I hope I'm not stepping on any toes. Um, I, um, uh, I was going through, you know, I'm trying to organize, and I found a, 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 short box of all mixed stuff that's pretty untypical hey thanks james and uh hey keith how you doing buddy hopefully your tuesday is going well uh it's rare for me to do two videos in a day but i was feeling it and this is such a mixed bag of stuff that i thought i if i just go live then uh then it's just better so it's basically a short box uh, that I came across. It's just all commingled stuff. There's some old, uh, some not so old. Hey, go to geeks in the house. Is that Chuck in there? Let me know. Bronze Age John is here. Jay Villa. Hey, thanks, Jay Villa. Appreciate it. Our Wheatley, what the heck is happening? This must be the sweet spot of YouTube. Oh, there's Lawrence. All right, very good. So, um, as I was saying... Uh, I found a short box. It's just all mixed stuff, and uh, and I thought I'd go through it, and um, I, I was going to make a video, and then when I start going through it, I thought, you know what would make this more fun is a whole bunch of people. So uh, so we got a few people in here, and and coincidentally, I'm um, I'm feeling a little sad, believe it or not, as I'm organizing the collection because I'm getting down to it. I've got like. 20 or so long boxes to go. I've got a few short boxes to go. Um, but really the last year or so that I've been doing this little experiment, I've been finding stuff I haven't seen. And it's in like this crazy uh, mess. And uh, like, why is this stuff with this stuff? But, uh, but I'm getting to the point where I'm not going to find that stuff anymore, you know, and it, I felt like an explorer for the past year and a half, frankly. So uh, I came across this one and I thought I better do something. Hopefully this is focusing in. Is that blurry for you guys? I don't know if it's blurry or focused. Tell me what I need to do. So um, I had shared quite a while ago a Silrage tip of the day, and I'm going to interrupt the view right now to show it off this is the tip of the day i'm not sure yeah ohio weather stinks no kidding i'm gonna clean the lens this is a live stream this has never been attempted before guys i'm cleaning the lens hopefully it comes out nicely all right did everyone shield their eyes i hope looks okay to me well all right good well let's get started so um We've got a few people. Thanks to everyone who's who's spending a little time. Hopefully, won't be a lot. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> nothing to see here, right? Uh, the old Leslie Nielsen. Nothing to see here. Move along. Um, we've got Jungle Jim. This is a fifteen cent King Comics. Uh, looks like issue number five. I just thought that was neat. Uh, it's one of the older books that's that's in this little group. We've got a Melvin Monster. Uh, I don't know this. It's labeled on the back as number nine. Uh, I, I honestly don't know a lot about this. Uh, all of them, well, not all of them, but most of them in here need rebagged and reboarded. So, um, so we're going to do that at some point. Um, I've got an ISIS number one KBDM in the house. So, Isis number one. I think I've seen this. If not on Go To Geeks channel, I've seen this on uh, probably Metarog's channel. One or the other, I'm sure. But uh, I was happy to see I had one. Uh, DC TV comic. 
So that's kind of cool. All right, we'll put that back here. We got this ARG number one. A lot of these are number ones in here. And again, I don't think I've, I've shown them. Uh, I didn't recognize this as being a box I had gone through, but uh, potentially. We've got a Marvel Super Action number one. Metarog does not have Isis. Go figure. So it must have been Go To Geeks then. Comic Tom! Holy moly, the royalty is in the room. You're all royal to me, but let's face it. Someone with 4,500 or 5,000 subscribers, that's, that's royalty. Uh, you know what? Yeah, Booster Gold. I've got a bunch of these, and I like them. I think it's a cool thing. And, uh, yeah, you know what? Condition is, uh, is interesting. And, uh, hey, Paul, how are you? Knights of Old is in here. This is, wow, incredible. Um, you know, the funny thing about these, I've been at it for, you know, 40, 45 years. And, you know, collecting does ebb and flow. It has to with life, uh, especially younger life. You know, when you're starting out and you're working and, and you know, you're starting a family. And there have been long spans where these books have literally just been in dark storage. So uh, I was always, I always tried to bag and board. Uh, buying collections as I do, sometimes stuff would just come in too fast. Um, literally, my backlog, it, if I buy a collection today, uh, it could be years before I'm going to get to that collection to bag and board, unless they're an emergency situation. Um, so, it, you know, it's an interesting way to buy collections, but, uh, you know, that's the, that's the thing is I'm just one guy. I can only go through so many books. We've got a Howard the Duck annual number one. I'm always a Howard the Duck fan. Um, giant size Fantastic Four. This is a trash copy. I don't honestly. I don't know where these came from, but um, uh, this counts in my book as a number one uh, because if I if I remember correctly, um, hey Taco Tuesday. Oh my goodness, hopefully, yeah, are you guys doing a Taco Tuesday? You're doing Wednesday, right, Patrick? I think you guys, I, I hope I'm not on someone else's live show spot. Um, Giant Size Fantastic Four number two was the first one. I think the number one issue was Giant Size Superstars, which was technically the first uh, Fantastic Four, but um, why not so much Golden Age Dave? Well... Oh boy, you know, there's, there's things I'm afraid of, and you know, one of them, frankly, is every time I turn on a Reaper tape video, uh, you know, that I that I get sucked down the EC wormhole. That stuff is beautiful, and Nights Old Between You and Simon, uh, showing off the Golden Age and some other guys. I have some, but man, you got to stay focused, and I just focused on, you know, a lot of other stuff. There's a Smurfs number one for all you blue Smurf fans. Got that. That doesn't even have a bag and a board on it. Um, you know, stuff comes in and I just stick it places sometimes. Uh, a team number one. I pity the fool that did not bag and board this comic. That's probably me, really. So there we go. Any timelies? You know, I've got some older boxes, but, you know, again, the, the collection I have, I just don't have a lot of that older stuff. Um, here we have uh, Elvira, House of Mystery. This was from 1986. That's a number one. Hopefully everyone's staying warm. I, I know Ohio is, uh, is a cold place to be. Here's a Reno Jones and Kid Cassidy Gunhawks. Uh, this was on my 20 cent wall. Uh, this is it must be an, a, a second or third copy. So we we do love those. <coughs> what a crazy day. We had in the this week we've had temperatures in the 40s. We've had heavy snow. Now it's a you know the world's a sheet of ice. Uh, let's see, Gargamel, 
Luther, man, you got flagged. I okayed that. Uh, YouTube was, was looking for you, I guess. Uh, hey, Mr. Garrell, how are you? Uh, there's a warlord number one. That's why I wanted to go live with this. Is it just an oddball mix of stuff? Seattle is sunny. I thought Seattle's never sunny. Black Goliath number one. Hopefully these are these are fun books to see. They're they're really all over the map. Uh, Ghost Castle number one. A uh, lot of the guys that that were buying comics, you know, I was a kid in the early seventies, but um, you know, this is the kind of stuff when when you got to the comic racks. I, I mean, it wasn't out of the ordinary for grandmas to buy kids books like these or parents to buy you know you would think oh that's pretty scary but man i got a ton of this kind of stuff that's in the collection uh there's a howard the duck number one i was just showing some dangerous fungi cover yeah that is crazy for some reason i want to order a pizza now i don't know why love mushroom pizza uh, there's Howard the Duck number one. We love that. Circleville is cold. Yeah, I'll bet. I'll bet. They're calling for 20 below. Uh, that's with wind chill, I think, but still 20 below tomorrow. Or what's today? Today's Tuesday. We got Discovery Bay. How you doing? Um, Discovery Bay, I don't know if anyone live is gonna be uh gonna be coming on, but I just saw a, a break in the action you know what um hello kirby carpenter uh so only three in that run that's awesome good to know uh chances are when i file these things i'll i'll have the other ones but this is just a mixed box that i found hey junkie how you doing man um so knights of old you ask a great question about that punisher 129 I, you know, I would think at this stage in the game, I could walk through any comic store any week and pick the winners, you know, like it'd be so easy uh, to pick the winners, you know, with stuff like Wolverine number one and uh, Secret Wars number eight, you know, back then you could, you could kind of pick them, but I certainly didn't pick Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one. And I remember having, uh, Seven to what? What's the the newer book just came out like a year ago, um, Seven to Eternity or something? And I I was holding it in my hand, a couple copies, and I put it back down on the shelf, and that was a cool cover. So to answer the question, uh, Knights, no, I you know I don't know on Punisher, uh, first one what I felt. I just you know it's a cool comic. I saw some new people come in, Jason three thousand. We got C Wood in the in the room, how are you? Comic Book Junkie's always awesome. Comic Books NYC. Um, Sans Art. Hey, thank you, Sans Art. You know, it's a rare... I, I've never done a, a late afternoon slash evening um, uh, live thing. And I, I really wanted to do one all day. And I just didn't have a chance to do one. And so I thought, I'm going to muscle my way in there. You know, squeeze my way in and uh, just do a live there's a Knight Rider number one, 25 cent cover price. This is from 1974. Okay, Gil Kane cover. That's a beauty. I don't love that. Uh, I'm going to cover up Jungle Jim. Nah, I'm not going to cover him up. That's the old stuff. So I'll leave the old stuff up there. Uh, most of these seem to be number ones. I am staying warm, Sean. I'm trying, but I, you know, I haven't been outside a lot. We'll see. Yeah, thank you, Discovery Bay. That's awesome, man. Simon Comics. There's the, the, the other half of the Golden Age collection team. Gomez. Holy moly. I'm just up here showing off some uh, short box goodness. There's a Skull of the Slayer number one. As long as I'm showing some great art, I'm going to show this great art. I got to stand up. Uh, this is still a big part of the room. This is a little artwork by Stephanie Gomez. We'll call her the Little Gomez. I think there's some art talent in that family. 
So we'll put that right here. We'll get Joker in there. Um, what do we got going on? Let's give Silver some appreciation. Look at that. Yeah, Silver's needing the love, right? Thanks, guys. Uh, James is here. Everyone's showing up. Count Von Strange. Yeah, I never do these uh, afternoon live shows. 33 people in here. I can't believe it. Um, Micronauts number one. So, um, you know, I was saying earlier how I'm a little sad because the last year and a half I've been reorganizing and I keep finding stuff that I haven't seen in so long. And, um, you know, I feel like at this point I'm getting to the end of it. You know, I'm, I'm down to like 20 or so boxes and it's stuff that, uh, that I'm going to go through and then there's going to be no more treasures. You know, I'll have seen it all in a short period of time. Uh, the Gladstone stuff, I've got a bunch of these Gladstones. I don't know if there's really any value to them, but um, but they're cool. You know, I like seeing them. It's good stuff, I think. Uh, there, there's a, a one you don't see every day. Um, yeah, sub everyone up, guys. There, there's a lot of love in the community. Things are good. Times are good. This is a uh, number one New Age Comics, 35 cent, 45 cents if you're in Canada, it says. But that looks pretty cool, right? Alex, hey, buddy. I, I've bumped into Alex a few times today on uh, on live shows, All About Comics and Sunshine Collects. Had a had a show earlier. I think that's where I saw you. And Alex was commenting on, on, on my video earlier, short and sweet, which was a perfect summary. I just want to get back to doing some of those short videos. There's Strawberry Shortcake. This almost feels like an Alan Garrett video at this point when he's, he's showing off those love stories right now. And, you know, he, he had told me a while back how he used to buy some of that stuff and he'd say, oh, it's for my sister. And, uh, you know, I don't know why I have Strawberry Shortcake number one, but it's in there. Star Comics. That's a beauty, right? All right. So let's see. Oh, we got Underdog. Now, coincidentally, I had a, I've got a sister who's nine years younger than me, and she liked Strawberry Shortcake and the Smurfs and Underdog. So I probably bought the stuff uh, thinking that'd be good and she'd enjoy it. But there's Underdog. No need to fear. Snuffs, that is too funny. Gotta love the snuffs, is what they say. All right, here, check this one out. Metarog, you know anything about this, Roger? Uh, Foofer number one by Star Comics. I mean, these might be one of a kinds. I don't, I don't know how many of these were in the print run. Um, I, I honestly can't remember seeing Foofer. I have no idea about Foofer. Uh, this could be the next big thing. Who knows? There you go. All right, let's see what other... We're in the section of oddities right now. This must be the, the Star Comics section. Um, <laughs> where's Fraggle Rock number one? Well, you know what? Honestly, I, I have no clue what's in here. So I got a big smile on my face at this little row. Uh, Royal Roy. He's got an alligator. Everything's looking great. Yeah, low print run. I, I would guess that it was. Um, so Royal Roy, we'll put him in front of Melvin Monster. Because that's a that's an oddity. I, I don't honestly I don't know much about Royal Roy. I can't get him to stand up, so I gotta get rid of Melvin Monster. Um, Starlight number one. This must have been 90s goodness. It's getting a little risque up in the Silver Age Dave room. All right, we'll put that. I, I don't. I don't want to cover that nice stuff up with Starlight. I don't know. Uh, oh, Hawkeye in Mockingbird, Solo Adventures series number one, and um, that is a four-part series. I'm looking at it, and I've got number three on the back. I don't know. How that applies to this box. There's a number one night crawler. Unauthorized. There you go. Yeah, low V-neck. Alex, that's uh that is crazy. But that's what the 90s was all about, you know. Uh it's funny how 
Every, all, all of them today are like honoring women, but yet, you know, they're not depicting women in, I don't think, an honorable way. Just my opinion. Um, hey, Jim Bowers, how are you? Uh, here we got uh, Charlton Bullseye, number one. Uh, this is from June of 1981. And I just think that's a great cover. Look at that bad boy. Who doesn't like that? All right, we're going to put that in front of Jungle Jim. There's that Popeye book I was reading earlier on that video. All right. So then we have a uh, Beyond the Grave, number one. Yeah, the, yeah, Blue Beetle. I didn't even point that out. The question. Uh, that's a neat issue. So Beyond the Grave, number one. This might have been a limited also. Yeah, <laughs> Reggie Simmons. Hey, um, you know what? If I could take my shirt off and run around like Reggie, I would do that more often. I read a funny... Um, hey, Area 51, how are you, Mike? Uh, I, I When I started running years ago, there was an article, I think in Runner's World, it said, uh, who could run... Uh, who could run with their shirt off? Ooh, I don't know if this is still going. Maybe it's still going. Uh, and it said, if you have a six-pack, you could run with your shirt off. If you don't have a six-pack, don't run with your shirt off. So, uh, you know, go figure. I don't know what the rules are. If I'm in the woods by myself, I'll do that. But I don't want to uh, upset anybody running with my shirt off. I'm not quite Reggie Simmons-esque. Yeah, he's got a little scarf. Must be cold wherever he is. So there's a claw, number one. We've got right here a haunted... Oh, did I do these? No, I didn't do these. There's a haunted love. Modern comics. That's a number one issue. I like that. There we go. We're going to cover up this back stuff. I'm running out of space. Here we have Atlas Comics number one, The Cougar. I run with scissors. Don't say that, Luther Manning. Don't you say that kind of stuff. All right, let's see what else we got in here, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. 30 people. Um, this is really terrific. I'll keep it as short as possible, but I got a few more books to go through. It's all oddities. Like I said, I, I was going to make a regular video, and I thought this one is too fun, this box. Uh, Blazing Battle Tales featuring Sergeant Hawk. That's a number one. Uh, looks like July of 1975 on that issue. Yeah, it's cool stuff. Crushing it, Silver. Thank you. Hey, Bad Avenger's in the house. How you doing, Bad Avenger? We got Hands of the Dragon, number one. All these oddities that, that showed up. Got to like that. Hey, the, the Wednesday night with the dudes, for anyone who doesn't know, I think it's all taking place on the Luther Manning channel now. So if you're not subbed to Luther Manning, it's a great Wednesday night show. Very informative. Him and uh, Reaper Tate, Anthony, do, do a terrific job. So make sure you guys check that out. Uh, here we got Lomax, NYPD, number one. So that's why I'm a little sad, guys. Is um, My days of finding boxes like this are coming to an end real fast. There is Karate Kid, number one. Look at the color. I mean... We always think about the, you know, the 60s and, uh, you know, all the colors, but the 70s weren't too shabby. This is 1976, March and April. I like that. Hey, GPAP, there he is. Yeah, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm missing some of the, some of the chat, but uh, thank you so much, guys, for, for being in here. We're looking for an iron jaw, is what Luther Manning says. These are going to fall down 
I got to move a couple of them and uh, start stacking. This is just a random box I came across, and I thought I'd I'd just share some of the love. Let me share some of the love over to another part of the room, and I can start a couple more stacks. Let's see, Countdown Strange. Oh, Beyond the Blast Doors is here. Wow, this is something else. Thanks, guys. Uh, did I show this one? Kung Fu Fighter number one? I don't even remember. That's my poor memory. That's the other thing is, anything that I find, sometimes I'm like a dog. You know, you leave the house for three seconds and come back. He's excited to see you. That's how I am. I'm always excited to see all you guys. I'm excited to see comics. Hey, Renee. Thanks, my man. We have DC Superstars presents Teen Titans number one. And that's just a beautiful cover. You gotta like that. Hey, GPAP, did you happen to see the uh, Howard the Duck Kiss video I put out the other day? It's like two or three days ago. Um, I, I thought it's something you might like. I don't know if you saw that one. Uh, Secrets of Haunted House, number one. I'm going to look for the wolf, Mike. I will. Captain Crunch is in here. How you doing? Bad Dad. What a, what a great success story of finding boxes, right? I would love to find some boxes like that. Uh, we've got Jonah Hex, number one. This uh, is March, April of 77. Great legend. How you doing, man? Look at all the power showing up. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable that I can't believe it. Thanks, guys. We've got Cobra number one. Yeah, no kidding. Look at that. We'll bring that back. Anytime great legend graces my my channel i want to show something off there you go that's beautiful we'll put him here front and center for you so you can keep looking at him all right so we've got uh kung fu fighter number one did i show that already maybe that's another copy don mosser oh jb so i must have stepped on a uh stepped on a channel or something sorry about that jb Discovery Bay, did you put out an announcement? That's something. No, you know what, uh, Roger? It what, Literally, I started going through it, and it's it's just a lot of number ones. And uh, I don't know why they got put in a box like that, but uh, I don't think I've, I've shown them. All right, so we got uh, Masters of the Universe number one. Uh, let's see. We've got Phoenix. This is an Atlas Comics. That's a number one. Like I say, I came across it and I was I was pretty excited. And but they're not alphabetized. They're not uh, you know, they're not anything. So this is January of '75, right there. It looks beautiful. You know who wouldn't like that? If you're a kid and someone gives you that, unbelievable. And that's, coincidentally, that's before Star Wars. You know, we had Flash Gordon and stuff like that. We didn't have, uh, you know, that much stuff that was cool. That is a cool cover. So we'll put that over there. Hey, we have a special issue here. I know for a fact that GoToGeeks showed this off. Uh, I've got the whole run of this, which consists of this book, which is Sherlock Holmes number one. It was scrapped after one issue. So we've got that, and if it's that good, hey, Russ is in the house, how you doing, RLMs? You know, I went away for just a little bit, and a lot of you guys, not a lot of you guys, but a few guys change names. So if you change names, and I don't know about it, then shout me out, straighten me out on it. And we've actually got two copies in here of Sherlock Holmes number one, which I kind of like. That's good. But I know for a fact Chuck and Lawrence on GoToGeek showed that one off, so we'll put that there. And we'll now take a, a quick break for hydration. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, right? It's 5 o'clock here, so that's okay. 
Um, we've got Fright featuring the son of Dracula, number one. Hey, thanks for stopping in, Rob. I really appreciate it. Son of Dracula, number one. And um, you know what? I've got a few left. And um, maybe I'll try to go a little faster through these. Uh, these I, I've showed off. These must be extra copies. I've got Francis, Brother of the Universe, and The Life of Pope John Paul II. These are great religious comics that came out. Uh, these were in 1980 for Francis and 1982 for Pope John Paul. So we'll put those, we'll put those right there. And uh, then, oh, I got to stand up a couple of things. This is going to be it, guys. What I have here on the desk, that's the end of it. And then I'll end this video. Um, we have right here... The Flintstones number one, and I'm always looking for the 35 cent copy, but for today's purposes, that's yet another copy of the 30 cent. Um, I don't think this book in the 30, 35 cent came to Toledo. That's my theory, but uh, I'm always on the lookout. You know, someday, positive thoughts, maybe it'll happen. We've got an Ewoks number one. I wasn't a fan of the Ewoks, but my little sister was, so I'm guessing that's that's why I have some of the some of the younger stuff. She's nine years younger than me, so in uh, you know the the eighty-ish era, she would have been just a kid, and, and I apparently didn't give her those because they're pretty nice. I'll probably give them to her now. Uh, we've got another copy here. I've got a couple of these. This might be a third copy. Uh, that's the cat. Uh, that's number one. That's from 1972. I do like that. Origin and first app. Uh, later, that, that character becomes uh, Tigra. All right, we'll put her in front. It, literally, it's one of my favorite 20-cent covers. Uh, Morlock 2001. That's a number one. You know what? Yeah, I do have some Woody Woodpecker books. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for the being the cheering section. You guys are awesome. Discovery Bay, I love your morning show. So Morlock, 2001. You know, again, as a kid, uh, this is February of 75. Uh, who wouldn't like to get that? That's terrific looking. Everything's good there. Uh, Monster Hunters, number one. It's a modern comics 35 center. That one, again, is from 1975. It's going to be a mess to... I almost don't want to organize. You know, when I when I come across something like this, it's really fun to have all these ones together, and I know they should go into their alphabetical, um, but it's really exciting to find stuff like this. This is tour number one. So we like that. Um, All New War, number one, Charlton Comics. Alex is out. Is that what I'm seeing? Thanks, Alex, for stopping in. Um, this one is a religious issue. Uh, Spire Christian Comics. It's Cross in the Switchblade, number one. And I, I, read, I have another copy of this I read not too long ago. It's really an interesting story. Uh, so if you, you know, you come across this stuff and, uh, you know, it's cool. Some of that stuff's pretty cool. Uh, almost to the end, guys. We got a Mad About Millie, number one. Vin C in the house. Chris Lackey, look at that. How you doing, Chris? Nice to have you guys. Uh, we'll cover up Sherlock Holmes. We'll put that there in case Alan Garrett watches the video. He'll, he'll be able to focus in on that Millie. Uh, we've got TV stars, Hanna Barbera. That's a number one, 35 center. And that Captain Caveman, is that who that was? Yeah, Captain Caveman. I used to love that guy. Yeah, you know what? Let me tell you about this book. I'm gonna gonna come back. Basically, this is a really bad dude. He's a bad teenager, and this is a uh, a Christian guy who just keeps coming back, and he's proven to everyone that they can be good. And these are all the bad kids. But he ends up getting all of them into church, and life turns out wonderful for him. So, yeah, it's a it's a catch-your-attention title, for sure. 
Uh, but I did read, probably a year or so ago, I had a, a thing I did maybe for Easter where I had a lot of the, the religious type books. Yeah, Captain Caveman. I love him. And the Great Ape. Remember that guy? Oh, my goodness. Saturday morning TV. That was the best stuff. All right, we'll put him up there. Uh, Super Villain Team Up number one. Yeah, <laughs> Great Ape loves Biggly Biggly. You're right. Oh, my goodness. All right, we've got Shanna the She-Devil. Uh, this is number two. We've got a Kazar. Looks like I got a little, K well, a couple Kazars. There's a Kazar number two. Grape Ape number one. Love the Grape Ape. There's Kazar number three. Guys, as we're winding down, thank you so much. I really appreciate so many people tuning in. It's a long video, but hopefully some books you hadn't seen before. It's just stuff that showed up. Um... I'm getting close to the end, but I, I'm getting tired. Yeah, number two, Roger, you're funny. Uh, Vault of Evil, number one. Look at that. That was 1973, so I was little. Uh, if I got that as a kid, I was a little guy. But that's all right. I'll take it. Uh, Marvel Double Feature, number one. Yeah, it's a, you're right. It is a good comic stack, Russ. I, I couldn't be happier. Uh, I'm, I'm happy all you guys are with me going through them. Uh, like I said, I was going to make a regular video, and after I got through the first four or five, I thought, man, I just want to share this stuff. Uh, Weird Worlds, it's a Tarzan, uh, number one, go figure. September of 70, August, September 72 is what it says on that one. I don't have any other info on it than that <laughs> yeah the temp dropped here so um vin c hopefully you got a nice jacket to wear wherever you're at yeah minus three we're probably just a heady it might be minus three now i don't want to go and look weird mystery tales number one it's a cool 20 center that here all right we're down to two uh wanted this is a number one the world's most dangerous villains yeah that's pretty stuff i'm sure go to geeks showed this they show a lot of this odd stuff if you're not subscribed check them out check everybody out you know what a what a great chat a lot of uh great community members in here and then Strange Sports, number one. Guys, 47 degrees, Russ, you show off. Where the heck are you? I wish it was 47 degrees. Kirby Carpenter, you are welcome. Thanks for spending time with me. I, uh, I don't know why. I just felt like being a little more social today. And uh, I'm happy everyone could be part of this. I've got a few new series I'm working on. So there's going to be some other stuff coming out. And... Uh, Again, my humble appreciation to anyone who tuned in. Um, if it's 42 in New York, something's going on. I can't even believe that. But it's going to change soon, so have your, have your jacket ready. Guys, I'm thinking of you. Thank you so much. I'm going to end this. Thank you. Check out lots of live goodness happening tonight, tomorrow. Silver Age Dave is out.